Home rental in South Korea. Things that may surprise you about signing a lease in South Korea. Those new to the Korean home rental market may be surprised to know that a large majority of Korean landlords are asking for a large amount of money as a security deposit. In the U.S., for instance, landlords typically charge half to two months rent as a security deposit. In South Korea, in contrast, a security deposit often amounts to the dozens of months rent, even to the hundreds of a month's rent. U.S. landlords are required to pay interest on the security deposit, but Korean landlords are not. For that reason, you may be offered lower rent to the extent you agree to paying a greater amount of security deposit. When signing a lease in South Korea, it's customary to put down earnest money, which is usually 10% of the security deposit, to prove you are serious about pursuing the lease. It is because in South Korea, home rental is considered a big deal involving a lot of money, though not as much as buying a home. Earnest money gives both the landlord and the renter a legitimate way out of the agreement. If the renter decides not to lease the home for any reason after the signing, he can withdraw from the agreement before the deadline for the full payment of the security deposit by forfeiting the earnest money. The landlord can do the same by giving the renter back twice as much money as the earnest money. If the renter decides to make a full payment of the security deposit and the landlord has no problem with that, the earnest money becomes part of the security deposit. You can also look at part 2 of this series to see the example of a pet owner in dispute with the landlord.